five reasons why moving to Santa Rosa, California might not be the best idea. In this week's video, we're gonna be going over crime reports, high crime areas, cost of living, and so much more. Stay tuned. What's up guys, my name is Danny, I'm Cronin, I'm a real estate agent right here in Santa Rosa, and if this is your very first time to my channel, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified next time I drop a video. I drop a video once a week, every single week, all having to do with living in Sonoma County, and as if, if you don't already know, I am a local real estate agent right here in Santa Rosa. All my contact information is down below. Call me, text me, email me, whatever is most convenient for you. With all that being said, let's get right into this week's video. So I wanna start off by saying I am being completely transparent in this whole entire video. I'm not letting anything go. I'm not letting anything slide. I wanna give it to you all here so you can process this information. So that way you can make the best decision about moving to Santa Rosa or the Sonoma County area. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you the top five reasons why you should not move to Santa Rosa, California. I'm gonna be going over everything completely transparent and all of this stuff I'm going to say in this video, there are separate articles in which you can look up all of these things on and do your own research. That way you're best informed if you wanna make a move to Santa Rosa. Number one on my list has to be the cost of living. This is something I've talked about several times in the future. I've made a couple different videos on it, but it definitely ranks number one as one of the reasons why you should not move to Santa Rosa, California. I think a lot of people have this uh, understanding of Northern California is a lot cheaper than so Southern California and there's a lot better places to live, but Santa Rosa does rank on the higher percentile of expensive places to live. Bestplaces.net states we are at 149 and the baseline is 100. So we definitely are above what is a normal cost of living in several areas. So if you're coming here to experience cheap living, might not be the best case for you. There are certainly some other affordable places to live, but Santa Rosa as a whole is the biggest city in Sonoma County. With that comes higher costs. Again, this city is specifically ranked on bestplaces.net at 149, baseline being 100. The second reason why you should not move to Santa Rosa, California is there is some crime that happens within Santa Rosa city limits. There's a couple different areas that, that I know of and this neighborhoodscout.com ranked two areas specifically in Santa Rosa that do have higher crime ratings than some of the other cities. Southwest Santa Rosa and South Park in Santa Rosa. Those are two of the most crime prone neighborhoods in the entire city of Santa Rosa. There's definitely some better cases, some better places to live, uh, but if you're looking for safety, comfort, uh, low crime ratings, then you might want to steer away from these two neighborhoods specifically. Number three on my list has to be traffic. This thing drives me absolutely nuts. You would think being in a, a relative small city like Santa Rosa, we're only 300,000 people. Now that might not seem small, but if you compare that to some of the other you know, greater metro areas, San Francisco, Marin, if you go outside of Northern California, go to LA, then you go to different states like New York, Santa Rosa is extremely small, but we do have a considerable amount of traffic. Some areas I genuinely like to stay away from during rush hour is Mendocino, Steel Lane, Highway 12, Highway 101. The highways here are pretty narrow. Highway 12 runs east and west, and that's a two lane road basically all the way up. Highway 101 narrows down in Santa Rosa and Petaluma and further south you go. But specifically here in Santa Rosa, there's definitely some areas you want to avoid. I personally have to deal with this every single day. I live about five minutes down the hill to my job. And then when I come up from work, it can take me sometimes 10 to 15 minutes just to get home strictly because I have to cross over Mendocino Avenue. That's always a busy street, but if you add in rush hour traffic, if you add in rain and weird weather conditions, your commute's gonna go up. Number four on my list, this did come at a surprise to me, and that is, in some cases, poor education systems here locally in Santa Rosa. Greatschools.org ranked one of our school districts here, Roseland, one of the neighborhoods I talked about when the crime ratings, they named Roseland Elementary at a three out of 10. Now that is surprisingly low, and I know there's 
good areas again and bad areas of Santa Rosa, but considering kind of where this school is, you know, the neighborhood, it's surrounded by Roseland Elementary, again, ranks three out of 10. And that to me is extremely, extremely surprising. And number five on my list has to be a lack of culture. Now I know I said it in the beginning, Santa Rosa is uh, a smaller city, but you would think with that comes many different types of activities and things to do. Now there are certainly no shortage of activities when you're looking at this, when you're looking at the county of Sonoma altogether. But if we have to specifically pick an area like Santa Rosa, there's not a whole lot to do here. We do have downtown. Uh, we do have some good restaurants and some great hiking trails and stuff like that. But as a whole, I think Santa Rosa can definitely open up a bit, kind of give the people more things to do, more things to see. Summertime, Santa Rosa definitely opens up a little bit more. They have activities downtown. Uh, obviously the weather's better so you can go out and do outdoor activities. But overall, for me, I would love to see Santa Rosa kind of have some more activities. You know, again, we have the ice arena, we have places to go, things to do, but it seems like when everything shuts down, when winter time comes, there's really not a whole lot to do. Uh, so that is definitely a negative for me. That's gonna wrap this one up, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have anything else to add, please feel free, drop a comment below. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos just like this. And if you have any real estate related questions, again, I am your guy. All my contact information is down below. Call me, text me, email me, whatever is most convenient for you. My name is Danny and I will see you on the next one.